Hello my friends and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random run. Hope you're all doing well. Of course we are today going to be selecting a random character and random weapon and trying to beat Danger 5 with it. This will be video number 13 of this series, Lucky 13, so let's see what we get. And I'm just going to dive right into it. We have picked up the Sick. Okay, so there's a couple weapons that will be really difficult on the Sick, and a couple that will, I think, be really easy. I believe I used the scissors for my Sick run, um, for my for my guide to the Sick, although it's possible I used Slingshot. I honestly do not remember, so if anyone remembers that one, let me know what, what I used. Um, I think that you will be able to win this with most of these, but some will be more or less impossible. I don't know if it's possible to win with hands, because the hands are going to push away the enemies and prevent you from life stealing because they will knock enemies away, so you won't be able to life steal off of them. I think this one might just not actually be possible, but I guess we'll have to see if we roll it. Um, let's find out what we get. Alright, so Slingshot is my recommended weapon for the sick, so I'm going to re-roll that one. I'm going to re-roll Slingshot or Scissors, uh, just because I, I recommended those weapons, and I don't think that that's that interesting a playthrough. I'll try to go for challenging ones. Ghost Scepter. This also might be impossible. I don't know if we're going to have the lifesteal to survive the first couple waves, but let's see if we can give it a shot. So, we will be taking one damage a second, and gaining one health every four seconds on average, because the Ghost Scepter fires roughly once a second. Um, can I clear this tree? No. Uh, I shouldn't have shot the tree. Um, I think I might need to buy the attack speed to try to keep our, our, us alive, but I need more weapons first. Let's buy a Ghost Scepter. Let's roll and buy a Ghost Scepter. Let's not buy Weird Ghost, because that's an easy way to die on the sick here. Okay, so having found two Ghost Scepters already, I'm feeling less like we're going to immediately die. I'm going to... Normally, I think you should combine your ethereal weapons to try to generate stats with them. But on the sick, I think we are going to not do that because we need to lifesteal. So, what I need is to have at least as much maximum HP plus lifesteal as the amount of damage I'm going to take in a wave. We're taking one every second. Um, and then not get hit, which is the other <laughs> key component of this. Obviously, we didn't gain any stats off those Ghost Scepters, but that's okay. I think I'll take Harvesting here. That can get us max HP and is just good, of course. Do I take flat ranged damage or do I take luck? Luck is very valuable to get this early, but we need range damage for our Ghost Scepters to be able to kill stuff. I think I'll take Luck, just because it's level 2. I will take the Ghost Scepter, I'm going to lock the Gentle Alien and roll for another Scepter. Was able to lock that, I can buy the Coffee as well. So now I'm feeling a little safer. Basically, what we need to do is have, like, so this next wave is going to be 30 seconds long. So we have to life steal at least seven times this wave if we want to die with if we want to not die with our 24 max HP. So I need to have enough weapons to ensure that that happens very that, that that's very likely to happen. Of course, with 25% life steal, it is technically possible for that to just never proc. But um, assuming that the game is true random, I don't actually know if it's true true random or some kind of stepped randomness function. Um, I've always assumed it was truly random, but I guess I don't know that 100% for sure. Uh, but it's very unlikely, of course. I'll take more harvesting here and then keep buying weapons. I'll buy the gentle alien because that can help us build more HP with the scepters and we will lock the bag. I'm gonna roll one more time to see if I can lock a scepter. I didn't, but do I want the Scar? It's very early in the in the run, so I think I am going to buy Scar here. I feel like we're past the very hardest point, because now I have five weapons. Um, I think level two is the point where you're most likely to just die here. Uh, 
that being said, we are going to need to get some damage soon, because it is slow killing stuff right now. Without the bonus ethereal weapon damage from the ghost, ethereal weapons sure do not clear the wave quickly. So I think we've gotten zero damage so far, or zero HP so far from our weapons. I'm going to take the harvesting here, even though I just talked about needing uh, damage, because that will get us to 20 harvesting, and then any additional harvesting I find will put us over the 20 mark and start getting us two per level. Do I just want luck here, or do I want to reroll for damage? I guess I'll just take luck at this point, but next I really need to prioritize damage. Buy these two economy items, roll locking a weapon. I'm not going to bother increasing my lifesteal, because 25% should be plenty. Let's see, have we gotten a stat with any of these? Nope. The attack speed has helped a lot as well in terms of keeping us alive. I'm going to not buy max HP. We'll just build that with our Ghost Scepters. Um, also, six starts with a bunch. Any chance we want to give us some stats here? I think I got one. I, I saw one proc. Really not getting much money because I'm not able to clear the wave very quickly and having to run around, but that's what the harvesting helps with. I would love to pick up armor. Yeah, with minus four armor, I've, I've got to take this level two armor. I don't think we can just not do that. I'll take another gentle alien though, and then going to reroll any flat ranged damage. No, I'll take a tree. I'll lock a shady potion and I'm gonna roll again. Get to go to a level 2 Ghost Scepter, that will help a lot. I think my plan is to, because we're so desperate for it, I'm going to re-roll any level ups we get this level. I'm going to re-roll for flat ranged damage. Because our, our Ghost Scepter is just not one-shotting stuff, is really putting us behind in terms of the wave clear curve, and also the health curve off the Ghost Scepters. Did get a crate there, which helps a lot. Manually targeting down those trees whenever they show up to try to speed up the process of killing them, waste fewer shots. Yeah, flat range damage from the hedgehog, ideal. And here, oh, eight harvesting is very tempting, but I, I just have to take one range damage and then 10% uh, attack speed, because we've got to start clearing these waves faster. Do I want more XP gain? I don't believe so. I'll take the luck and then roll. Excellent find on the Ghost Scepter. I will also lock the sunglasses. Crit chance is not going to be amazing for us, but Ghost Scepters do crit for times two. And while we do need to build our armor back up, I think we can still gain quite a bit of damage out of this sunglasses. I won't have enough to buy anything, so I'm not going to reroll here. And we've already got two things locked. Wave 7, as always, with ethereal weapons, you want to target down the eggs to make sure you're not wasting shots on something that's not easily giving you stats, since the whole point of ethereal weapons is to get all the free stats. Any shots that we're putting into these high health enemies are going to waste for us. So, break the eggs before they can spawn, ideally, so we don't waste as many attacks on hitting the big slashers, especially with this part of this version of the build where I have no damage, so it's very difficult for me to... I'm, I'm never going to kill one of the big slashers. Can we kill this tree, though? Yeah. Alright, so definitely behind in terms of money. I will just take 7% crit chance. That will help. I am going to take the leveled up Ghost Scepter before these other things, but I will lock the fin because speed is going to be really good. And I'll throw in one reroll here. That's exactly what I was hoping for was another Scepter. All right, having leveled these up helps a lot. They fire faster, they do more damage, so very happy to level up some Scepters here. 
2 flat range damage and 8% damage is not ideal, but we do what we can. Also, now that I've gotten these leveled up, we should start building up HP pretty quickly. Another thing I need to consider is buying dodge soon, because we have 30% dodge already. Um, I don't think we've been offered too much dodge, but we're already halfway to cap. And each point of dodge you get is more valuable than the previous point. Uh, this is something I say a lot that I know has caused some confusion because uh, the math there isn't intuitive. So take my word for it this time, but I will be doing a video on this soon. And I also do explain some of this in my video to the ghost, uh, my guide to the ghost. All right, so we're definitely behind in terms of money. Obviously we're recycling this because we don't need the HP regen. I will take percent damage here. I would prefer flat damage, but any damage we get is really important. And let's upgrade our weapons for more stats and more wave clear. Throw in one reroll to see if I get anything else. I'm not going to take Scared Sausage or Triangle of Power. Triangle of Power sure is a good way to lose on sick, huh? <laughs> This should be a good wave for us. One thing that we are missing from this build is any form of piercing. Ghost Scepters really benefit from piercing because they allow one scepter to kill multiple enemies more easily. And of course, it's just a, a ranged weapon without piercing, which always wants to add piercing. I'm gonna try to work my way around to where I can make my way through the middle of the arena again, and then we'll lifesteal back up. The sick has tons and tons of free healing, so you can afford to take damage. Um, but what I really need to be doing is actually picking up materials this wave. This wave, of course, should be good for us. We should be generating a lot of HP from it because there are lots and lots of enemies. But we are not clearing them as fast as we would like. Can we kill that tree? Nice. And even got a crate from it. And this one. Perfect. Alright, and I'm going to go down the middle. Oh, may have misjudged that. Oh, no, because I had minus four armor. I took way more damage than I thought I would. Okay, well, that was that was just a, a stupid play by me, but I am going to count that one as lost. Um, I really think I should have won that one, so I'm going to retry it, but try to play a little less badly this time. <laughs> that was just me completely misjudging the amount of damage I could take because I forgot we had negative four armor. You will never get a max HP off of wave one with Ghost Scepter. It just doesn't fire fast enough, so it's impossible. We almost died there also to not rolling any, uh, not rolling any life steal. I'm going to buy this Ghost Scepter, roll again, lock the coffee. Okay, so now we've got a little more damage locked. That's good. And we've only got two Scepters though. We had three at this point. So level two, I feel very in danger of dying here. If we get unlucky on our lifesteal rolls, we could very easily just die. Okay, that, that fruit should, should make sure that we don't die. As long as I don't walk into a bunch of enemies again. Break the tree. Left 11 materials on the ground. So notice how many materials we're leaving on the ground on this character. I will take the harvesting again, and I'm going to reroll this. We'll just take range damage. If your Ghost Scepters are one-shotting things, you're in much better shape. We will not be able to afford another Scepter, but I'd still like to find and lock one. So I'm just going to spend whatever it takes to get that. That's uh, just an extreme danger of playing ethereal weapons, is it's very easy to misjudge how much damage you're taking, because you're not used to playing with minus 5 armor. And that's a pretty severe decrease to your survivability. We also got hit like four times in a row without rolling a 30% dodge, which isn't um, incredibly unlikely, but not incredibly likely either. I guess I'll take this bat. It doesn't look like we're going to do harvesting at this point, even though I took some. But 27% lifesteal. 
Maybe that was a mistake, because of course I immediately roll harvesting, which I think we're still going to take here. But 27% lifesteal is a marginal improvement, so I think it was worth grabbing. Let me lock this gentle alien. So now I need to buy something, because I've got... I want to reroll. So we'll do that. Um, I'll take the ritual, and I guess I'll just buy the lens and throw in a reroll looking for another ghost scepter. Keep finding these weapons that have no shared tags or anything and aren't even ranged weapons. Like, finding a rock there, I think, is statistically improbable because it's a melee weapon, so you're less likely to find that when you have ranged weapons equipped. It's not an ethereal weapon, so I'm less likely to find that when I have ethereal weapons equipped. And it doesn't match a weapon I currently have, so we're less likely to find it that way. You know, finding a ghost flint or something isn't that surprising, but finding weapons completely outside of our current weapon type is unlikely. Um, do I just want crit chance? I think I'll just take the level 3 crit chance. I'll level up this ghost scepter. I will re-roll again. Or just take the gentle alien. I think I'll just take gentle alien. Alright, so this is going better... Um, because I'm at least one-shotting the rushers, the little, little fin guys. Just having even this slight bit of improved flat damage is helping out a lot. That being said, I need some move speed to stay ahead of this horde, because right now we are not... And I've got to find some pierce or something. I mean, we're just not clearing these enemies at all. I'll take luck here, I think. Or do I just want to reroll for better stats? I'm going to reroll for better stats. Yeah, here we go. Two range damage. That's perfect. Ah, uh, come on. Don't taunt me like this. I'll take the 6% speed, though. We need that. Cannot afford to take bait here. But I will take the ritual and roll looking for another scepter. That's good. Not going to lock the bat. You can't buy bait, really, on ethereal builds, because you're going to spend all your shots trying to kill the bait aliens and just not generate stats. And this is the first wave where we're likely to start generating some stats. Especially because I did find some damage, so we're able to clear these enemies at least a little more rapidly. I don't like ethereal builds also, <laughs> I should I should say. I find them frustrating to play because you just can't kill anything. <laughs> um, I'll take one flat range damage here. We need to start building attack speed as well, but the flat damage will help. I'm going to buy the percent damage, I'm going to roll again, and I'm going to re-roll again, and we will lock this. Um, I need to mitigate the armor loss, but that can be a project for future us. You know, manually target this egg. Got it. Oh, but that one hatched. That's gonna really cost us a bunch this wave. We have generated a lot of HP from the previous wave, just because I had enough damage to do so. So we're starting to, to rack up some stat points, at least, up to 46. Um, yeah, well, this will get us 21 harvesting. It's a little late for it, but it's still worth picking up. And I guess I'll just take range damage more. I need to start building my dodge up, but I really need to, to make sure my damage is going. I don't think we can take the nuclear launcher here. It will just cost us... I mean, nuclear launcher is awesome, but I don't think it's in theme for this build. So we're going to pass on the nuclear launcher. I know many people will be sad, because many people want us to always take Nuke Launcher, but this time I'm not going to. <coughs> I will take the Lumberjack shirt, that's going to save us a lot of attacks. 
and then we can upgrade our ghost scepters. Uh, do I take this helmet? It's a bad way to build armor, but it's still worth buying, I think, just so we're not just getting one shot. If I can even get up to like three or four armor, I'll be very happy. Once we repair our armor and just have a few more defensive stats and a little bit more attack speed, we will just be invincible, like once we get out of this early game. Because we're building this HP, we're gonna hit 60 or 70 pretty early. We'll have obviously 25% lifesteal plus a little bit that we've bought. Um, so as long as we, we make it out of the early game relatively intact and then can repair our armor by a little more dodge, we will be golden. But for now, any hit that I let through is taking away a quarter of my health still, so it's putting me in a lot of danger. Uh, here, I'll take percent damage, just because it's the highest level upgrade, and we are going to upgrade our ethereal weapons again. Roll again. Oh, hey, another weapon that we're going to pass on for theming reasons. And I will roll one more time after locking the bag. Alien Eyes would steal uh, kills from my scepters, so we can't take that. But I will lock the head injury, because more damage is going to be good. Attack speed is what we really need most of. And then armor and dodge. Now we're... This is better. We're mostly one-shotting these guys. At least the the small horde aliens were one-shotting. The fins we are not. So we could still definitely be in a lot of danger here. Lumberjack shirt helps a lot because we're just not wasting shots on these trees anymore. Got very lucky on two dodges in a row there. I played quite badly and walked into two enemies, but two dodges in a row. Saved us some damage. Here we'll take a hit. Not much we can do. Anytime we have to turn one of these corners, basically, because our clear our clear speed is so bad, we're very likely to take a hit. So I need to try to avoid that. And my move speed is not high enough to stay ahead of a lot of these guys. Alright, so we made it out. We didn't pick up a lot of money, but we did at least make it out alive. I'm going to take attack speed over armor, although I need both, but actually killing the enemies is going to be better for us right now. Oh, it hurts so much to lose armor, but I can't pass up a wheelbarrow at this point. And then I'm going to roll. Movement speed is also something I'm severely lacking as well. Let's take the coffee, and we will lock this ghost scepter. Okay. Adding in the coffee, adding in some more economy items, um, I'm feeling pretty good here. We just need to get out of this next couple waves without dying, and then we should be in good shape. Would still kill for a sharp bullet. Stay in the center if I can, although I did just walk immediately into a charger. Um, dodged an enemy there. Let's walk around. What you usually want to do is try to dip in and out of these areas to pull them away from the sides of the arena when you're getting overwhelmed like this. Um, and then you can retreat back to the sides of the arena. But we don't even have the clear speed to make a clear path here. The gentle aliens are definitely making us suffer a little bit, but I think they're still so important to this build that they're worth taking. Do I just want more attack speed? I guess I do, do just want more attack speed here. Hunting trophy is very interesting. We have only 7% crit chance, but that is a way for us to actually generate some money. So I'm going to take it, and now we can start building crit. Small magazine is the best possible item we could see, so if we live through this next <laughs> level, we should be okay in terms of damage. Just increasing our damage and attack speed is incredible for us right now. 
this is going to be a difficult but not impossible wave. Um, we're not going to be generating much money off of the hunting trophy, obviously, because the we've got like 10% crit chance and then 33% chance of that actually giving us money. And we won't be generating lots of HP this wave because the rib cages are going to be eating all our attacks. <laughs> yeah, that one rib cage alien just chasing me down, and we we have no uh, knockback either, so I have to actually out DPS them. Oh, they're so fast. Okay, we got we got a dodge off. I think I'm gonna live. <laughs> oh, that was close. This is such a difficult character. Um, I need both armor and dodge. I'm gonna take dodge, I think. Um, okay, very happy to see a leather vest here and a sunglasses. I'm gonna go with the leather vest so that we don't just die to the elite, ideally. And the small magazine is also going to help keep us alive. And then I'll upgrade my weapons. I'm going to reroll this and lock another one of these. We're just going to have to dodge and try to lifesteal because we're not going to kill the elite here. This is a, a lucky elite to roll because it will not chase us. Okay, let's focus down that rib cage before it gets too fast. Yeah, with no source of knockback and... Alright, let me... All right, I'm just trying to focus here. This is requiring a lot more attention than a lot of these builds because I have to actually dodge every enemy and they're all alive at all time. So apologies if the quality of the commentary is a little lower than normal. Um, this one's just really hard. Okay, I just walked into everything there. That ribcage was about to kill me and then it despawned. Oh, these are such nail biters. Um, I still need the movement speed, even though we have the hunting trophy. And I need the ranged damage here. More than the crit chance, again, even though we have the hunting trophy. Let's start upgrading my weapons. Oh, I really thought I'd be able to afford both of those. I'm not going to buy another compass here. I think I'm going to reroll, and we will buy a ghost scepter. Do I want the alien magic for HP? I don't need more max HP. I just need defensive stats. Buying that leather vest last last level kept me alive. All right, so this level should be better. There are, I think, no rib cages, and that's what was really... I, I think wave 13 has no rib cages. It's got tentacles, which will absorb a lot of shots, but they won't chase me down and put me under the same level of pressure. I will say this run would look completely different if I had found Pierce um, early on, because we'd have quite a lot more health and more money. So if you're... I know a lot of people like to try to duplicate these builds. If you're trying to do this one yourself, I would recommend rolling really hard for Sharp Bullet in the early game. I think that will help a lot in terms of your ability to actually do this one. I'm just going to step over that tentacle and take that damage to try to make some space here. One, and... Ho, 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 ho. Okay, I'm going to recycle this. I'm going to re-roll this. Re-roll this. Come on, give me something. All right, we'll take attack speed. That's more, uh, more healing, at least. Take more crit. Re-roll. More movement speed. Yes. Um, I'll take the coupon and I'll lock the scepter. All right, we are at 100 max HP with 29% life steal, so any attack speed I get should help keep us alive. Now, if I get armor and more dodge, we should be okay. Okay, I gotta chase down those guys though; they're gonna harass us. Oh, I broke two at once. Really should be careful about breaking two summoners at once. Although we get we get more stats from killing the summons. 
Uh, I should be using manual targeting to avoid killing the summoners, potentially. I'm going to try to clear out a few of the summons before I move out too far, so that we can maybe have a slightly easier time dodge fewer projectiles. Although, I just had to kill two of them by moving around this way. That projectile hitting me was so, so bad for us. And that one, okay. So I probably just have to rely on my dodge. Okay, we, we made it. Just barely, yet again. Let's reroll this. Is it even worth taking damage at this point? I mean, I need to do damage to kill stuff, of course, but I think I'll take attack speed just to lifesteal. More. And then, do I want a level four scepter? If I just get like 10 armor, I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> um, but we haven't rolled any. I think I'm going to upgrade my weapons here. We should be able to generate some HP from this horde. Trying to play a horde with on wave 15 with this build is going to be really difficult. Because we're going to have to break some of these summoners. And then the horde aliens are going to absorb shots for the summoners. I should really have manually targeted to avoid killing summoners in that like big patch of the slugs. Um, the horde aliens are going to avoid absorb shots for the summoners, preventing me from... I'm going to go back through the big horde, actually. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, preventing me from clearing the summons. This is certainly the tensest I have felt playing Brotato in a long time. Oh, walking into that projectile. Three, two, one. Okay, we made it out. Have no money, but we made it out. I could take Flamethrower just to lifesteal with. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea, but I think, again, it's against the spirit of the rules. I'm going to buy the gambling token, even though our armor is bad, but I need to hit 60 dodge. Combine, buy this, roll, small magazine, yes please, and I will save my reroll here. Okay, if I get a level up, I'm hard rolling for armor at this point, I think. Wave 16 shouldn't be too bad. Um, our attack speed should be good. So now we should be able to clear through some of these buffed aliens more easily. I'm I'm charging around killing the buffers. Also, I've got 50 dodge finally, so we're at a, in much better shape in terms of dodge. Okay, I gotta kill the buffers before they buff too many enemies. I was like, oh, this shouldn't be too bad, and then they immediately buffed 100 enemies, and I just don't have the damage to clear through them. So we're just basically going to be running away from, from glowy red guys for this whole level. We do have 143 health, so that's an, an edge that we have. But even though this looks very safe with our low armor, you, you can see how fast it goes bad, right? I took two hits there and we're already at half health. I'm going to reroll for armor here. Okay, I'll take dodge, but um, one of those two. Just defensive stats is what we needed most. And here I'm going to re-roll this. I'm actually not going to take a gentle alien going into an elite wave. Because I, I really want to pick up more armor. Do I want this whetstone? Go up to 33% lifesteal. It's pretty low value to increase our lifesteal. But it's more likely to keep me alive against the elite than not buying something. And that's what I'm really worried about is just dying to the elite. So... Let's see which one we get. All right. So the big slasher. This shouldn't be too horrible. We can run away from it. More worried about these rib cages, to be honest. You want to avoid... 
Oh, yeah, the buff rib cage is gonna get me here, I think. Uh, yeah, so I just I just couldn't clear through the buffed rib cages. Like, the... If we hadn't gotten an elite there, we might have been okay. I could have tried to kill the buffers, but the existence of the elite there was just too much. Um, I don't know how possible this build is to do. I think with better dodging, maybe I could have gotten through some of those waves. But the waves that killed me were really just the like the rib cage guys chasing us down, um, and we just didn't have the damage to get through to them. I could have optimized my build in a few ways, of course. I could have not bought Whetstone or Bat. I could maybe have gone in on Harvesting earlier. The Hunting Trophy ended up not paying for itself. We only got 100 out of that. Um, and maybe the Compass was a mistake, although our speed was pretty bad and we really did need speed. Maybe I was supposed to just not level these scepters this much because they don't gain damage as they level. This is an interesting challenge. Uh, I might return to this one, but I think it might also just be impossible. So if you're following along, let me know um, what you come up with if you end up beating this one. And if you don't end up beating this one, then, uh, you know, let me know in the comments as well there. This was this was a rough one, guys. Uh, I I am not going to lie, a little frustrated by that. I felt like we could have gotten there, but there just were a lot of decisions that had to go better and a lot of shop rolls that needed to go better as well. I think we did get a little bit unlucky in the shop. Maybe if I'd gotten early pierce, it would have been better because we just have had a lot more money to spend. But without some sort of high rolling early shop, I think we were just never quite going to manage it. All right, well, anyways, I know many of you have said you enjoy seeing me lose, so there you go. You get to see it twice, and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have, do feel free to like the video, leave a comment, because that helps a ton with the algorithm, and subscribe to my channel for more of this and other strategy game content. Cheers, my friends. I'll catch you next time.